Oh, the England Patrius one. Oh no, I know that. Oh. Yeah, I was up until it was. I was watching it until two a.m., which is too late. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> was it worth it watching? No, because <laughs> the exciting part was after two a.m. Oh, shoot! So I stayed up for nothing. Nothing. Oh well. Uh, okay, three I. Um, the way to do three I. Do you all see it there? Yeah. I ask you to expand. Uh, to the third term in descending powers, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the first term, uh, the first bracket is what exactly? Can you give, read it to me? 2 minus 2x squared. I can't give you. Uh, 2 minus 2x squared. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. And we want the powers to Spending descend. Power of x. Up until the third term. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to expand each of these to the third term descendant. So the first one would have a 2 and a minus 2x plus a 2 and a minus 2x plus a 2 and a minus 2x. And the next one is uh, nice, it's just going to be an x well, I suppose it's going to be, yeah, an x, an x, an x. Yeah, well, here we have to put in c, so this would be 3c0, 3c1, 3c2, and this one here will be, tr uh, no, sorry, 5c0, 5c1, 5c2. Now, powers, what power do I put here? What power goes there? Three. Is it 3 or is it 0? Three. Three. 3. Because it's C sounding. 2, 1. And here? 0, 1, 2. And here? 5, 4, and 3. Minus 8x cubed. 3 times 2, minus 24x squared. Uh, three, three times four is tw twenty-four x. X five plus five x four plus ten x cubed. Now, if you were to multiply here, how many multiplications would you make? Many. How many? Lot. It's true, <laughs> but <laughs> what number? Uh, nine? nine multiplication. Yeah. But if you think carefully about it, you don't need to do as many as nine. It's actually enough to do six. Six. Now, why is that? Well, what is the biggest power we can make when we multiply eight. here? Eight. And the next? Seven. And six. So we only need to do the ones that make eight, seven, and six. Yeah. So. Firstly, we'll do x cubed, this one by this one, and that will make minus 8x8. Eight. Uh, do we do this times this? Yes. This one will make um, a 7, won't it? Minus 40x7. And then this one by the last one would make minus 80x6. Now, this one by the first one, yes. My minus 24x7. And then by the next one, make 6 minus 120x6. But not the next one, because that makes x5. And lastly, this one multiplies only the first one, because all the rest will be too small to care about. So this is minus 8x8 minus, and this one here, 64x7, and then this one here, this one here, this one here. Now I feel like I made a sign mistake. No, no, maybe not, maybe not. Wait, wait, wait! I made a mistake, and I can tell you where the mistake is right now. Minus 2 squared? 
Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, this should have been a positive here. So that makes um, yeah. this one. Positive. These two should be positives, shouldn't they? Yeah. 24x6. Yeah, these should be positives. Okay, now we'll fix it. Right, x7, what have I got? Minus 40 plus 24 is minus 16. And then lastly, x6, that's 16 as well, yeah. with a plus. Isn't it? Yeah. Minus 80 plus 120 is... No. 120 minus 80 is 40. Mi yeah. 16. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, and this is the answer here. Bit of a tricky one. Um, could get oh, could get it in the exam. If you do get this in the exam, it will be an example of a difficult one in the exam. But it's not impossible for the exam. I think I've seen this once, only once. But I have. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. Yeah. If you can do this, you're doing well. So what went wrong for you? What went wrong? Could be anything? Everything. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it was everything, okay. Okay, write this down and we can have a look at something else now. No, Lucas, I don't like this, it hurts my feelings. You should write it down. And I don't really write it down. Because this will be on YouTube later today. Mm. So you don't need to take a picture. So ah. you should write it down now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should write it down. You should write it down now. Hmm? It's been proven that when you write something down, you remember it better. My science teacher had one rule in the classroom. Anything he writes on the board, you write it down. Even if it's easy, even if you know it, even if you've already done it before, if you write it on the board, you write it down. Okay, what else do we need? Was it just this one? For anything, anything from last week. A lot. Good, good. I always do one with questions. You are the only one who cares about your maths. This is why. Yeah. Right. Okay, you care a little bit then. 5A. In this lesson? It's 5A with the P, Q and M. Mm. It's a tasty question. Um, I'm going to do 5A now in a minute when you finish taking this down. You finished? Yeah. You have this, Lucas? Yeah, I wrote this. You wrote all of this? Yeah. Good. Sorry? Not yet? 5A. Binomial theorem 5A. Did you um, get anything? Yeah? 5A. No, sorry, you weren't asking for 5A. You were asking. So did you make any progress? Yeah. yeah. Like I actually solved all five. Did you really solve it or you think you solved it? I really did. <laughs> mm. You have the right equations. So what to do next is the question. Exactly. So I'll do it now. Here you go. Right. Can I scroll down to it? Sorry. Oh, come on, Starry. I only know the Arabic for hurry up. What's it? Yella yella? Yeah, I don't know the Chinese for hurry up. What is it? Kwai. Spell that. K U A I. K U A I. And the sound up, down, flat? Down on the A. Down on the A. Yeah, quite. 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 Then D I A N. D I. A. Then like a V. Like this one? Yeah, on the A. On the A. Quite. 
Quiet, Dion. Quiet. Uh, I'll practice at home. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Close enough. Quiet. Yeah. Quiet. Dion. Quiet. Dion. How was that, Sorry. Okay. It was okay. Oh, good, 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 good. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, um, can you give me the question, please? What was it? I know it was px plus q yeah. power n equals minus sixty four. Yeah. Minus ninety six x. Yeah. Minus forty eight x squared. Yeah. Remind me um, what you want to study next year. Only seven. Ah, yes. Do you know where? Oh, UK. Yeah. You're not worried about them leaving the EU? No? Should be okay. It's probably quite cheap now to study in the UK. Or you have sponsorship, so it doesn't matter to you. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. There'll be a bit of maths in um, the surveying. But probably not any more difficult than what you're doing now so um, okay this question is a hard question so please please watch carefully now I think this question is too difficult for the exam but it's a very good question to do for your uh, study and your understanding of this topic okay so I'll start it here the first thing I should do is expand here on the left so I have it will be nc0 pxq plus nc1 pxq plus nc2 pxq and the rest is the same on the right nc oh now what power do I put here zero, zero and here one and here two and here Yeah? Okay. NC0 is 1, this is 1, so this is just QN plus NPQN minus 1X plus. Now, I'm going to decide for one moment. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say this. NC0 is 1, of course, because it always starts with 1. And NC1 is N, because the next number is always N in the triangle, if you remember the triangle. But what is NC2? Well, we need to find that. If you remember, NC2 would be N factorial over 2 factorial, N minus 2 factorial. You don't remember this formula I gave you? Yeah. We only used it once. And then I said, you can use your calculator. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is what I thought happened. So on the top, you have N n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, etc. On the bottom you have 2, 1, and then n minus 2, n minus 3, etc. Cancel, 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 cancel. And you're left with n squared minus n over 2. So this is nc2. Now, oh, it's cubic. And so on, yeah. yeah. Oh, are you saying is it n cubed minus n? Yeah. No. It gets more complicated. Um, okay, so maybe you need to write this down before I go back to the main question. So this is like a side note. So on the side of your notes. Calculator is good. Too much calculator. Bad. <laughs> oh yeah, the building in the school there. Um, elementary school. Yeah, right on by the car park there. Yeah. It's kind of weird to have the university and then an elementary school on the same campus. Um, I don't know it's how. A it's a private school. It's um, a different company. A different. Uh, not Griffith, not, not Griffith Elementary, no. no, no. The not the ISC Elementary. <laughs> Although sometimes I wonder if that would be less stressful for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder, that's all. 
Okay, can I go back to the main question? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we now know that this is n squared minus n over 2, this nc2, p squared qn minus 2, x squared equals dot, 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 dot. Now we can compare, which uh, you did this part, yeah. So the qn is minus 64. This part is this part. And in blue, this part is that. So we have Qn equals minus 64. And we have NPQn minus 1 equals minus 96. And we have n squared minus n over 2 p squared q n minus 2 equals minus 48. <coughs> Might be a good idea. Got that so far? So the big question is what do we do next? So, do we have any ideas? Uh, That's what the student said in the other class. But how? Q, uh, Qn minus 1 separated. Qn over Q. Okay. You are correct so far. So, the first thing we should do... I'll change this into NP... Qn over Q. Mm -hmm. And then here I'll change this into Qn over Q squared. Then here I keep it the same. What should I do next? Mm, yeah, just before I do that I'll change this into P over Q. Qn equals minus 96, and then n squared minus n over 2, p over q squared, qn equals minus 48. Now we can substitute because qn is minus 64. So you can put that in here yes. and, and in there. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, p over qn is. 3 over 2. Yeah. That's what you'll get. Um, that is minus 64 equals minus 96. And then here, n squared minus n over 2, p over q squared q, oops, uh, minus 64 equals minus 48. Now, here you get p over q equals. 3 over 2n. When you rearrange this. So if you put that in here, you get n squared minus n over 2. 3 over 2n squared minus 64 equals minus 48. So then you get n squared minus n times 9 over 8n squared. 2 squared is 4 times 2. To, uh, equals 48 over 64. Mistake or not? It's okay? Uh, 48 over 64, that's 3 quarters, isn't it? Yeah, 3 quarters, 4. 3 over 4. 3 over 4. So when I bring the 8 up here, It'd be 6. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I bring the 9 down here. 6 over 9 is 2 over 3. Over three. So n squared minus n equals 2 over 3. So that means 3n squared minus 3n equals 2. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I feel like something's gone wrong, but what else? Uh, wait, wait, wait. I lost my n squared. I lost my n squared. Um, I kind of 
No, 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 don't confuse me. Okay. Don't confuse me. I lost my M square. I need to bring it up here. So here it is here. Now I multiply by 3. 3M three squared minus 3M equals 2M squared. M squared minus 3N equals 0. So N equals 3. You can take this answer and put it back into... Guys, please. You can take this answer and put it back in here. And you'll get Q equals minus 4. Because minus 4 cubed is minus 64. And then you can take both these answers and put them into here. 3Q over 2N. Minus 2, is it? Yeah. No, or minus 2? Minus 3. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. 3 times 4 is 12 with a minus over 6. Minus 2. Is that what you said? Yes. Well, the answer's at the back, so we can check it here. And that's the answer. Okay. Uh, now, uh, difficult. Yes? What else do we need to see when you're ready? Geometric. Hmm? Geometric? I can guess which question already. Let me see. What? Number seven? Which one? Eight C. In geometric, there were ten questions. No. Ah, the last one. Uh, yes. Okay. When you're ready. We're going to look at geometric progression, if you can open that please. Geometric progression, when you're ready. I am hungry. I had my lunch and I'm so hungry. I did. This is the problem, but I'm so hungry. Why? I just had a pot noodle. You know pot noodle? Ah, you do. Pot, hot water, mix it together, pot? noodles. Oh. oh pot. Yeah. Instant noodles. Oh. Cup noodles. Cup noodles, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're called here. What? Pot noodles. Cup noodles. P O T. You know this word? Flower pot. Yes, like a flower pot. Yes, yeah. Because they call them something. Yes, yes. The cheap. How much is it? Thirty-nine cents. Oh. In the needle. Best lunch deal out there. But just kind of still hungry later. It too. Two, yeah. Then I feel so greedy. Two pot noodles. Yeah. It's like just a little bit of noodles. Uh, there's not much, no, no. Yeah. And teaching you uses so much energy. <laughs> bye, bye. I know I'll be strong, don't worry. Okay, you nearly have that? I'll give you one more minute and then I'll continue. Yeah. Can you open geometric progression? Yeah. Okay. You have it open there? Number 10. Good. Number 8 first. Okay. 8C? Okay, let me just check. No, don't remember. Can you give me 8C, please? 
Oh, it's one of these ones. The ninth term is... 256. Yeah. And the sum of the first three terms is 3. Like this? Okay, again, this one's a little bit tricky, so watch carefully, please. This is A or 8 equals 256. Yeah? And this is A plus A or plus A or squared equals 3. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yes? Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Question? Are you sure? Yeah. Everything's okay? Should I believe you? Okay, great. Right. Here, we can say... Well, I think here, actually, it might be a bit easier to change this into, I don't know, A1 minus R over 1 minus R cubed equals 3. I don't know. Um, it's an We can use this, or we can use this. I think it will be easier if I use this one. No, you think it will be easier to use this one? Factorize the A out, and then what? A one And then what? And then what? Then what? Yeah. A equals A. You see, you could replace the A with this. But the problem is, if you do that, then this equation will have A, or will have R, R squared, and or 8 in it. You can't solve that. No, I think um, this is the one to use. I'll put this in here. Yeah? Maybe. We'll see. 2, 5, 6 over R8 1 minus R over 1 minus R cubed equals 3. So we get, my goodness, this is a hard one, sorry. Uh, 1 over 1 minus r cubed times 1 over r8. Why is it 1 minus r over 1 minus r cubed? That's the S formula. Is it 1 minus r cubed over 1 minus r Oh, thank you. Well, that doesn't really make it easier, but thank you for fixing that. Cubed here on the top. Uh, oh, it's uh, so much easier. Um, no, it doesn't. I multiply. Shh, I'm thinking. No, I know, I know. Um, I could change this into 3 over 2, 5, 6. And then I could... I could bring the or up here. But what's 3 or 8 over 2, 5, 6? No, it's mm. No, I think maybe we should try using the other one. So, um, guys, look, listen. It didn't work to use this one. I think it's too hard. We'll go back in time. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. And instead, we'll put this into the first one. And see if that's any better. 256 over or 8 bracket 1 plus or plus or squared equals 3. I just took the A out here. No. You know what I mean? Like A, 1 plus R plus R squared. Ah. Make it like 2, 5, 6 over 3 equals R, 8 over 1 plus R squared. We kind of have to, yeah. Yeah, yeah.
1 plus r plus r squared equals 3 or 8 over 256. This is good, you get to see different ideas. And not not all ideas work. And that's okay, that's normal. Right. Uh, I'm going to take this one again with this one. So I here I have 3 A equals 3 1 minus R cubed over 1 minus R. I just bring this one up and this one down. That's okay? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to use these two instead. So I get 256 over R8 equals 3. 1 minus R cubed over 1 minus R. And you might be thinking, Stephen, you tried this already, but now I'm going to do this instead. 1 minus R divided into 1 minus R cubed. Oh. So what's first? One. One. One, and you're left with one, one minus R. When you subtract, you're left with uh, R minus R cubed. What should I put next here? R. R? Yeah, yeah. R. Yeah. Or. Yeah, yeah. So then you'd have R minus R squared. When you subtract, you're left with R squared minus R cubed. So what's last here? R squared, and you have R squared minus R cubed, so 0. So 1 plus R plus R squared. Isn't it kind of like a base? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's all right. <laughs> all right, I can't simplify it. We're going to have to try and guess the answer like we did in the last class. I'm starting to think I made this question too hard. to do that though. You put in numbers. I really don't want to but do that. But you told us to do that. I know. <laughs> I know I did. Just the but it feels so dirty. Uh, right. I made this question too hard. Past Stephen was much crueler than present Stephen. Um, <laughs> you can delete this question from your workbook. Yeah. <laughs> the only way to continue is by guessing different values of R, mm -hmm. which you can do. So, like for example, you could try R equals one. Does that work? No. Why don't you use the calculator? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can. You can do power eight. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. What? You open the calculator. Carry your name. What? Carry your thing. No, you can use this. You don't need to change. Oh yeah. Your you know how to use the calculator? Yes. Mm, you seem like trouble. Uh, yeah. No. How do you know this? Um. We start using 
This calculator. Uh, no, the yeah. graphing. One side is six, um, the other one, the blue one. Yeah. This is in 16 years old. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, sorry, this question is too difficult, so you can delete it. But I want to see. I want to learn how to use the calculator to do this. Use this. Hang on. I'll sh I'll put it on the screen, and then everybody can learn. So you can use your calculator here. Do you all have your calculator? What Except you for um, that guy. <laughs> calculator? Yeah. Calculator? Okay. Right, now listen carefully. We're going to get some instructions here. You see? Wait, wait, are we all listening? <laughs> okay. Listen carefully. Go ahead. Step one. Shift. Shift. Yeah, and you see that. Uh, this? No, down. This one? Be beside X squared. Yeah, the beside. Left? Right, right. This one? Yeah, yeah. You see that? Press this? Yes. This? Yes. Yeah, you press 8 outside. Right. Yeah. And 2, 5, 6 inside. Oh, this? I know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to show me no. something cool. No, just this. Just this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stop, stop talking, please. I thought you were going to show me how to solve this. No. Yeah, no, I do know how to do this. Thank you. Do you? Because somebody told me before that you could type this in on your calculator. Yeah, All right, hang on. So we'll, we'll get it from somebody who knows, okay? Let me just uh, clean it up a little bit. Uh, 3, 1 plus R plus R squared times R8. Right, now, okay. let's listen carefully. Now, do you know what you're talking about? Him or me? Well, one of you. Okay. You know. Uh, press 2 by 6. 2 by 6. Yeah. And then uh, alpha. Yeah. Calc. Yeah, oh. Uh, oh, this yeah. one? Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. And, and then type in the bracket, 1 yeah. plus alpha uh, x. x. Oh, I like this now. I like this. Yeah, square, yeah, x, and uh, shift. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, one more, one more. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, then wait for fifteen. I tried it. It's still solving. Yeah, it, it minus one, I think. Point six. Yeah. Oh. Uh, wait for fifteen. How long did you have to wait? Thirteen. No, really? How long? <laughs> Maybe one or two. Just like we solved the <coughs> summation of thousand things and equal to thousand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. I think this is right. Alright, forget it. The calculator can't solve it. So if the calculator can't solve it, I don't expect you to solve it. But um there is something you can do to simplify it. So can you look up? You can make this problem a little bit simpler if you want. Guys, please look. You can make this a little bit simpler, but it's still difficult to do. You could change this into 3 no. or 10 plus 3 or 9 plus 3, yeah. which you can change into 3 or 10 plus 3 or 9 uh, minus 253 equals 0. Now, is this quadratic? Unfortunately not. It's not quite quadratic. What is it? Some kind of weird power 10 thing. But, if you think about, wait, 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 if you think about your cubics, what did you try to do with cubics? You tried to guess one and then solve it. Yeah? yeah. So, what about if we tried the number 2? Would 2 work? Could we try 2? Yeah. Two doesn't work? No. Ah, but I know what I'll do. I'll make my table. Um. Then I can see which one it is. 
mold table tree alpha x power 10 plus tree alpha x power 9 minus 253 start at minus tree go to tree step in 1 calculate any of these zero no Okay, um, definitely now too difficult. Is this one of the questions I gave you? Yeah. Wow, what a jerk. <laughs> Thank you. Can't see that. Can't see that. <laughs> a jerk. All right. Yeah, forget about that one. Sorry, I made it too difficult. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, okay. Anything else now? Is that the last one? Yeah. So ten is an important. Hey, uh, ten is important for your coursework. So you want to look at ten. Course. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> ten won't take long. Don't worry. What? Can you read out ten? Some. Ten. Up there. Ten. Lambda. Ten. No. What? Up there. N equals one. Oh, one, one to ten. 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 And then back up. Yep. Half e to the power of n. Yep. Plus. Guys, guys, please watch carefully. This is important example for your coursework. Minus n, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, firstly, I'll change this into sum a half e n plus sum a half e minus n. And you can take the halves out. So, a half <laughs> sum e n plus a half sum e minus n. Now, we start at zero, right? Yes. So what would the first term here be? Yeah. No, try again. e power one. zero? One over one. 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 Next? E. e. Yeah, next? E. Next? E cubed, etc. Yes? Now, this one here will be what? One, one plus... Yeah. One yeah, plus... And so on. If you look carefully, you see that these are both geometric with A equal to one, one or equal to e. e and N equal to... I say in the question. One. Ten. ten. Oh. Right? Ten. Ten. Here A equals one. Or equals one over E. N equals ten. ten. So we have a half A one minus or over one minus or ten plus a half. 1 minus or over 1 minus or 10. This is the answer here. I thought 10 is... I did it again, didn't I? It's the hunger. Okay. The hunger is affecting my brain. Mm -hmm. uh, the 10 should be on top. You're right. And that's the end of that one. Just like this, yes. Okay. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. You know we have ten. Like in the front. Ten in the front? You can write the formula for it one minus R. Power ten. Power N over one minus R. Oh, and then I got it, I got it. You got it? Okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay. Can I close this? Yeah. yeah. yeah.